good morning. So I just did like a whole good morning video clip before this one. And was kind of going on about my pack and stuff. And decided that maybe it was just not positive enough for so early in the morning. Um, and I, I don't want to start my videos out like griping. But just quickly, yeah, my pack is not very comfortable. Um, I think this ULA packs are made for narrow shoulders, not wide shoulders. And um, I talked to another hiker who had a ULA pack and he had the same issues I'm having right now, which is where it, basically this is digging into my collarbone. And you can see here, see how close that is to here? It's not out. It's not sewn out here, which is, and I've noticed most packs seem to be like that. Like the low lifters are on the outer edges of the pack, not in the middle. And this is in the middle. So I don't know what to do. I mean, I've already spent all this money on this pack and I do love it. I love the colors. I love all the features of it if that's the one thing if the, if these low lifters and the shoulder straps were sewn farther out anyway <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say nothing, nothing more about that um i got eight and a half miles to do today to get into um to get to a parking lot to get shuttled to hamburg where i'm taking a nero A blaze. I haven't seen a blaze in a while. Oh man, I swear, between the humidity and the rocks and the gnats and mosquitoes and my pack. Oh, I know. <laughs> You're like, don't be so negative, be positive. Okay, positive is I've only got two and a half miles left. <laughs> I know I'm very blessed to be able to be out here and be able to do what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I don't mean to always come off as though I'm complaining about it, but by no means is this remotely easy. Like, I can't even put into words how hard it is. Like, and I, like I said, it's not just always just the train. It's just everything. It's uh, just everything. So it makes it hard sometimes to just be like, I mean, I could be that way. I could be like, ah, 
and just be happy when I talk, but that's not being real, I'm just to be honest. And I mean, the worst is probably just the fact of, particularly since I've been back on the trail, you know, I've just not had a pack that was just very comfortable. And I know, I gotta stop talking about stupid packs. It's a pretty pack. <laughs> it's got my name on it. Oh, anyway. Yeah, two and a half miles. But it is funny, and I don't know if I already said this, because I've thought about it, and I can't remember if I've actually said it. But you know, when you're at home every day, you know, in a heat and, in heating and air conditioned place, going out into the wilderness is like a wonderful thing. I mean, I've always been there like that. Like, oh, I just love, I love the mountains. I love nature. I love the outdoors. <sighs> Got like spider webs everywhere. And, but when you're like in it every single day, all the time, you're kind of like, okay, nature. <laughs> I want, you know, the comforts of home. I want heat and air and relaxation and stuff like that. So, yeah. So I guess that's why it seems like sometimes I'm happier in town than the trail because the town is something different and new, uh, you know, it's like a treat. Because out here is work 24 seven. Okay, maybe not 24 seven, but close. All right. But here's the awesome part. If you decide you want to try to do a through hike and you go out and do it, then you're a pretty awesome person. And if you decide you don't want to do a through hike, you're still an awesome person. <laughs> Maybe more awesome because you're smart. <laughs> All right, I'm just kind of cutting up. I'm just, yeah. Can y'all see it? Do you see a spider? I just walked through an epic spider web, like literally face. <laughs> that was something out of a movie. I bet it's crawling in my back right now. It's probably gonna bite me. <sighs> oh, oh man, this is why I should put a hat on. That's what I get. It's so hot, it's hard to wear a hat. Don't see the spider. Oh man, it was an epic spider web. Oh my God, it was huge. And I went right in my face. I didn't even see it. I mean, it was big. Oh well, it's probably crawling on me. Great. Great. So I don't know how I'm going through spiderwebs right now. Because I, the guy that was staying at the campsite, Lucky, went left before me. And he's pretty tall. At least I think he is. I don't really remember now. <laughs> I think he is. But the point is, he's on me. And he would have had to hit these unless he stopped. I don't think so. How did he miss that? <sighs> Ugh, all I know is that was horrible. <laughs> that, that was really dramatic. <laughs> I mean, like, <laughs> I've walked through, like, strings. You know, like, strings that caught, what, not much. But that was, like, a full-on spider web and it went right in my face and I don't see the spider but that doesn't mean anything it will if it is not on me it doesn't bite me Hard to see the rocks from here. Hmm. The nice part is, at least till it's like to the last, I mean, I had pretty decent terrain most of the time, uh, the first several miles. I mean, I had rocks every once in a while, but not very badly. So, at least it was not too rocky all day. <sighs> okay.
So um, I just met a really nice um, hiker. His name's Rainbow. He through hiked in 88 and then again in 2016. And now he's out doing just kind of a section, or like a big section, but he's just sectioning it. Um, and he was just telling me some all this awesome stuff that's coming up. Um, and it really made me feel good because I had a lot of people <laughs> tell me how, you know, like, oh, if you think Pennsylvania is bad, wait till you get to the New Hampshire, Maine. And it's like almost having kind of dreading it. And like he's telling me all this cool stuff there is to do and see along the trail. And it like just made me really happy because it's like those things that like get me really excited. Oh, there's like excited about, you know, doing this and like things I'm going to see I've never seen before. So it was really nice to meet him. I'm so glad I met him because like he's got me a little bit more pumped up about things because there's all that like New Jersey I can get off like three tenths a mile and go to a beach which would be cool um I get to see the zoo the stock skyline um I mean there's just so much cool stuff coming up so I'm excited but anyway oh and then another through hiker who I hiked with um in the beginning before I got off trail um he's back out and he didn't have a trail name before, but now he does, so it's Waterfall. So he's out again. So, yeah. So, yay. More and more rocks. I'm four tenths of a mile for being done. It's supposed to get really steep going down here. It hasn't yet. So. Hopefully the really, really, really steep part is not very long. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. So let's put my phone away for now though. So this trail is definitely steep coming down, but there's a lot of this like rocks to kind of break up the steepness. So I didn't think it was that bad, but there are like, see like rocks and like these tree things. So you gotta be real careful and not slide on them. But so far, it's really not been anywhere near what I thought it was going to be. So that's good. All right, so this is probably the part they're talking about. Um, so I've, I've just got to be really, really, really careful. <sighs> yeah. All right, so I just try to walk like areas like this. And I try to find all the rooted rocks or like these things to like plant my feet. And I kind of turn them a little to the side. You know, just don't step on these loose rocks but i am lucky that i have these amazing traction shoes which help a lot and i'm almost done Whew, made it unscathed yep i think this is the way um yeah i definitely say if you're coming down northbound take it slow take it really slow and use your tracking balls if you're going south you gotta climb for a mile. <laughs> it's times like this that you really appreciate the rocks. I'm not gonna cross the railroad tracks. Whoa. Oh man, this place is so cool. Look at this stuff. 
Man, this is so cool. Oh man. There's a big old elephant. Oh my god, this is so awesome. <laughs> Stick him up. <laughs> oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Anyway, look, I'm getting me some tie dye crocs. They're gonna be so much better than these other things I have. And they're tie dyed. They're cool. Now I just gotta find me a fanny pack. I don't know if they have them. Hopefully they do. Look at this here. This is so cool. Oh my God. All these stuffed, I guess, I wonder if these are all like actual stuff. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they're stuffed. Yeah, they're stuffed. They're stuffed. They're real. It was killed in 1965. Oh yeah, it shows like when they were killed. Oh my gosh, that is too cool. There's a groundhog. Oh my gosh, this place is... This is so neat. I'm loving this. Yeah, this is super cool. <laughs> wow. I was hoping to see one of these on the trail, but I haven't yet. <laughs> Beavers! Oh yeah! And look, there's actual real fish. That is cool. And there's a bear, he's watching the fish. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. Oh, look at the, look at the fishes. There's a moose. There's a moose. Raccoons and more fish. Yeah. And this is the camping section. Okay. Different foods. Can they even have these if you need them? They're cool. Well, I have finally made it to my hotel room. This is the microtel. This is actually a pretty sweet room. Pretty nice. TV and don't have a don't have like refrigerator and stuff like that which you know that always kind of sucks but you know I was seeing if there's a coffee maker doesn't appear to be a coffee maker I don't know if there's breakfast because of you know the whole situation I was hoping there was at least coffee maybe they got coffee downstairs hello <sighs> but this is it but it's still nice super clean it's nice and cool. Um, I was gonna show y'all. So I went to Cabela's, I got a few things. So I need, I wanted to get a fanny pack. So this is what I found, which is actually pretty cool because it's pretty lightweight. And it's got a zipper pocket for my wallet. And then it's got a pocket here for my phone. And look, there's even like little pockets in there if I wanted to use it for something else. And uh, yeah, it just clips on and off. Anyway, it's pretty cool. I really like it. I wish it was black. Well, you know, can't, beggars can't be choosers. It's not bad. This is a Lewis and Clark. And then I got these lovely Crocs. Look, they're like tie-dyed. They're so cool. Um, so I got these because my those I had some like slip-on sandals. <clears throat> and man, I could not walk at all in them. Like, I mean, I couldn't, like trying to walk around camp, camp and stuff or whatever, or walking in town, like my feet kept slipping out. These are so much nicer and they're actually pretty comfortable um and look it's got this like little um whatever this pattern is so it like kind of massages your feet while you wear them and they got a little bit of grip so anyway i know a lot of people make fun of people wearing crocs but uh i get why like they're perfect camp trail town shoes and i do love the tie-dye so get that let's see what else did i get the only thing that's kind of weird, I feel like, with the hotel rooms is when they have this big mirror. I don't know. I guess it's to make you, like, it look bigger, like the room look bigger, but it's, like, kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, so what I end up doing is I sent my sleeping bag home, my 10 degree, because it was just way too hot. And I ended up, like, not having it covering me. And then it was, like, constantly, like, just... I don't know. It was making me like feel more sticky and stuff because it was just too heavy for this um, warm weather. And 
So what I did, and it's also like two pounds because it was a 10 degree. So even though it's down, it's like, it was two pounds. I think it was 24 ounces or something like that. But anyway, so I just sent it home. And I also sent those sandals home because now they got the Crocs. So anyway, I got this um, thermal reactor liner um, at Cabela's. So it's like really soft and like it's, it's very blankety. Like it feels like a blanket. So I think this will be fine. I do have a pair of leggings and a, I have my puffy jacket. If I were to, you know, if it were to be colder, I could always put that on. But the nice thing is, is not only does this weigh significantly less, it's like, this has to be maybe half a pound. It's really light, but look how, it's so small. So yeah, um, so that's gonna give me a little bit more room in my pack. Not that I needed more room, but I mean, I'm hoping it helps a little bit with the way my pack feels because my pack will be lighter. Um, yeah, so anyway, I got that. And, and then I decided to treat myself because I've, I've already gone to where like a lot of the food I eat at dinner, I'm just not excited about. And I'm, you know, I'm just sort of like, okay, you know, eat it to eat it. And I really do like, at least on the trail, I do like the like um, dinners that you can buy, you know, the more expensive ones, like the mountain houses and stuff like that. So I decided for this uh, resupply, I'm doing like those for dinner. So I got like this cheese enchilada ranchero. Anyway, it sounded really good. So I got that and I am gonna repackage it. So, cause it makes it a little bit lighter. And I got biscuits and gravy. I know that's a breakfast, but I'm gonna have it as a dinner. So I got that. And of course I got resupply. I went to Walmart, there's a Walmart near here. And I got all my resupply stuff. So I'll show you that in a minute. And um, went eight, I had just, I just ate five guys. Um, so had that for dinner, um, well, I guess kind of a lunch, really not dinner. So I'm gonna shower and then wash my clothes. Yeah, these are all the stuff you have to do, like even on Nero. So my plan is I'm Neroing today and then I'm actually gonna Nero tomorrow. So I'm not gonna actually take a zero because I really don't wanna pay for another hotel room or and I really don't wanna like not do any miles, but I'm just gonna Nero until checkout, which is like 1130 and then go have lunch somewhere and then i'm gonna go get on the trail so i'll only probably end up doing maybe like six miles tomorrow because i'm just gonna probably go to the first shelter but it's fine because yeah i just i mean i've had so much stuff i had to do already like i'm just now here at the um, hotel and it's like 5 30. so i just want plenty of time to relax and um you know like uh edit videos talk to my husband you know, all that kind of stuff. And, and that's the whole point in like spending the money on a room if you're, you know, unless if you're not gonna enjoy it. But I have a really nice view in the mountains, which is actually really nice. So I'll show you that. Um, yeah, and I think, uh, I'll show you what I got resupply and all those stuff too. So, okay. So yeah, this is my view. Isn't that nice? That's actually where I'm gonna be hiking tomorrow. I'm pretty sure somewhere in this vicinity, I'm gonna be hiking that mountain it's kind of crazy to the when you see a mountain from here you know it just looks like a bunch of trees it doesn't look like there was any way there would be trails it's just crazy how different it looks i think but yeah this is a pretty cool view um i think i can actually open this which is kind of neat so uh, but i got air conditioning so we're gonna we're, we'll be using that in this lovely little bench area all right so here's my gun resupply for this time so anyway i got some epsom salt i'm gonna do an epsom salt bath too and I always buy, you know, I always buy freezer bags and stuff. I don't always buy these, but I'm doing something different this time. So I'll show you why I got those. But honestly, you get this stuff for like a dollar something. And it's worth it, honestly, to just repackage things and stuff. But I found these at Walmart and I was so excited. Cliff Shots, they're like goose. And this is double espresso. So it has caffeine, but it also has like, um, it has like uh, B, B vitamins. It has all the B vitamins and some other stuff but in, uh, well they usually do it doesn't show it here but anyway these are so great because they're like a gel that you just eat real quick and it gives you like a bur burst of energy so i got that and then uh, they had this i'm just going to try it look it's energy gum i don't know i just thought i would try it and i got a cord because the cord i'm carrying is way too long so i got a shorter one 
three feet. <clears throat> and then I got, oh, that's detergent to do the laundry, uh, which I got here at the hotel. It was a dollar for that. Oh, I did go ahead and get a couple more of these. I wasn't going to get two more. I only needed one more, but I couldn't decide what I wanted. So I thought, well, I'll just get another one and then I'll have it. So like I said, this is a huge splurge, which honestly, thanks to you all for the help you give me um, to help with my resupplies and stuff. This is why I get to have awesome things like this. So I'm pretty excited. So all that's going to get repackaged into this. And then let's see what else I got. I got... Oh, I wanted to try these. I've been wanting to try these. So this will be like, you're you're going to see where this is going to go. I'm going to show you in a second, but it's the Wisp cheddar cheese things. But they got like a lot of protein. They don't really have any carbs, but they have a lot of fat and protein. So I'm going to have tortillas as usual because they're just easy to use. I've got pepperonis. I've got string cheese. And I've got pizza sauce which is that's what these are for so i'm gonna this is what this is for to put little pizza sauces for each day in here um and then i'm, I'm gonna use that i think to make it crunchy maybe or i might even separate and that's why i'm gonna have like a little pizza for my lunches and then i got some peanut butters i like these things they're so awesome um and then i got of course because i like drinking my calories breakfast Fresh vanilla is my favorite. And then I found these. I thought these were pretty good. Look, extra large protein, peanut butter chocolate, um, 300 calories for a bar. Look at all the fat and the it, uh, pretty good fiber. And look, a lot of protein. And look at all that potassium. So that's going to be a great trail bar, I think. I'm excited to try it. So that's my, like my on the go, on the trail snacks. And then I got an orange juice because I always just love orange juice. <laughs> um, so, and I already still had a few things. So, this is this is my resupply. All right, it's laundry time. Well, this is actually pretty nice. They've got two washers and dryers here. Oh, that's pretty good. Look, there's like a little hiker area with hiker food. All this hiker stuff. There's even, this is almost full, feels like. Um, and there's toilet paper. I don't think I need any pretty cool i gotta bring some stuff here too because i like it when they have these because i always have leftover food and i hate to like throw it away like it's so wasteful so this is nice so all right so here's the laundry and then just starting it yay and because i'm at a hotel i can't get loner clothes so luckily i still have my rain suit <laughs> with my rain jacket and my rain pants. All right, I'm just gonna show you all my food, all laid out. So this is for like three and a half days. So I've got, um, so these are my breakfasts, breakfast. Um, so we got 300 calories there and then I'll have a carnation instant breakfast with a coffee mix. So that's like 500 calories, 550 calories. My lunches are basically, um, pepperoni. I got two tortillas, two cheeses, and I got some pizza sauce. Um, and I, what I did was I took the jar of pizza sauce. Let me show you. Hold on. And I put the, and see in these little bags. So see, that's not, doesn't weigh too much. So anyway, that's, so that's lunch. And then of course this, this will go with it. And it may just be like a snack. So I've got three of those, three lunches. Um, Cause I'll be having lunch before I get on the trail tomorrow. So that's only have three lunches. And I've got some peanut butters and then these bars just for snacks through the day. So um, yeah, so I have that with, you know, I can have like one with peanut butter if I want. And I have these two. Um, and I just got some extras because you can't really ever find these. And then, of course, I've got four dinners. And I, like I said, I may not need four to the next resupply, but since I was treating myself, I got my... So I'm really excited about this because these are going to be good. And then what I'm doing, I sent home my koozie that I made just because it was kind of took up some extra space. And I just used one of these pouches 
that the food came in. And what I do is I just put the food into the Ziploc. See, I rinsed it out really good, dry it. And then what I do is I put the, I put the whole Ziploc, after I put the water in it, I put the Ziploc inside of here. So this stays clean. And it's just easier to see because that's nice and flat. I did this before, but um, a long time ago, but I didn't actually put it, a Ziploc in it like that. So I got this idea from Dusty and two, two wheels who were doing that. And I was like, oh, that's so much easier. And so that stays nice and dry and clean. But this just seems to work actually better than the, even the koozie for rehydrating meals. So, yeah. So that's what I do. And then it's nice and flat and it's, yep, yeah, super light. All right. Well, my laundry is all done and clean. Yay. So, so good to have on clean clothes. I took my shower. Oh, and I actually, well, y'all saw, I used the Epsom salts and did an Epsom salt bath. Kind of help with my muscles and then i took a shower of course uh and it's so funny how much i love showers compared to like honestly when i was just off the trail and at home i don't know like sometimes i dreaded shower just because well at least when i had to wash my hair just because like drying my hair and all that so um but man i just love it so much <laughs> now so now i just kind of got to go through all of my stuff here and just put it back in my pack um and then, yeah, I know I was talking about my pack earlier, so I'll just show you my pack real quick. It's not filled, obviously, but let me just, let me just show it to you. And then I'll be ending this video and, um, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. But let me show you the pack real quick. So this is the pack and like, it's such a pretty color. It's so pretty. It's got this really huge front pocket, which is awesome. And then it's got the, I don't even know what you call these things, but which my pad goes on. Um, it's got these pretty nice size uh, side bottle pockets. And I mean, these are t decent sized pockets too. They're not as big as the Waymark gear, but they're pretty decent sized. And then you've got these bungee cords, which you can attach your bo water bottle to. Um, and that really does work pretty great. Um, oh, and then of course, I think I show this on the trail, but see, look, it's got... It's got my trail name on it. So cool. So the only downside to this pack that I have found at this point that just, I can't, I mean, I'm trying to work around it, but, um, okay, let's see if you can see here. It's hard to tell without it being on, but, okay, do you see how it's doing? So, yeah, look how the cinch straps are. And then, so this, this cinch strap should been over here and it would be in the middle of the of this and instead it's like it's over too far this way like it really should have been here so i don't know if they actually accidentally sewed that wrong or if this is their style um and then also the fact if you look here there is hardly any space that's where your neck has to go so i find that this kind of rubs the neck a little and then this is just awful. This is like really like rubbing on. Well, this rubs the collarbone, then this rubs the neck. So honestly, if this, if if these were over more, and then this, this should have been like closer to here on both sides. And then this should have been over more. And if it was, I think this pack would be great. And that's the downside of it right now is that, I mean, this is what it's doing. As you can see how it's doing and this isn't even cinched. I mean, like this is uncinched. So it's not even like it fixes it by uncinching it more. So anyway, but other than that, like I said, I think it's an awesome pack. So anyway, there we have it. All right, good, good night guys, see you tomorrow.